Hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we're going to be working with Timber Brown. So um, before we start, I'm going to now open directions together and um, then we'll go into exploring the color. I'll explain a bit and then you'll do some journey work on it. So my name is Chetna and I co-founded the Laughing Rainbow Mystery School in 87 and I've been working with mystic and shamanic principles for a very long time now and it's my joy to share the colors with you. So we're going to be working with Timber Brown today and as you open directions with me now I want you to think about inviting in the support and love of um, ancestors and power animals if you work with them and the beautiful wonderful spirits and forces of nature nature is always clearing and doing things to help us to eliminate so working with the energy and help just calling in that love and protection that's there for you okay so we're just gonna do a little rattling and we turn our attention to the east where the sun rises every morning and we thank the spirits of the east for their love and support as we work together today with timber brown thank you spirits of the east allow your awareness just to move outward to the sunrise the place where the sun rises and giving gratitude for that beauty of that time of day and And feeling that love return and bringing our attention to the south now whatever the south means for you it's also you're orienting yourself in space so the spirit of the south we thank you for your support and love as we work today and let your feelers go out and just feel what that means what that is for you okay And now the Spirit of the West. We thank the Spirit of the West for the support and love, the setting sun. Place yourself there and let that gratitude go out and that thanks for the support and love as we work together today. And now bringing your attention to the North, the Spirits of the North, thanking them for their love and support as we work today. Thank you. So, bringing your attention to the lower world, the place where the power animals reside, and we thank them for their love and support as we work today. And coming up to the middle world where we live, the spirits of the place where you are, the fire, the air, the earth, the water, thanking the elements, the beauty of nature, giving your gratitude and thank you for the support. thank our upper world teachers so this is the angels the saints the gurus over time all the wise ones the masters and teachers the angels the archangels the angelic presences all of the love of the divine the high holy ones and wise teachers and loving ancestors we thank them for their support as we work today Thank the spirit who is coming in and forest green actually showed up as well. So thank you for the support and love. Okay, so now we begin. So timber brown, you know, timber, we get so much from trees. 
You know, the trees give us life. We, they create oxygen. We give them carbon dioxide. We have this intimate relationship with trees. It's so powerful. And the timber brown, you know, we've harvested trees, over harvested. We've done a lot to trees. But in our own life, this energy of timber brown comes in to help us clear. You know, in the forest, some trees might not grow because there's not enough light in the canopy. So woodsmen will come in and they will cut the trees that are not um, able to grow or they're, they've gone past or maybe they're, they're dying or they're dead or they're sick or diseased. So the timber brown energy can come in. You know, we think of the woodcutter. He comes in and he cuts the dead wood so that what's really alive can thrive and live. So the timber brown functions, that energy is to support life. And sometimes in our own lives, we have toxic energies and we need to cut the energies which are not life affirmative, which are not life supporting. And we all become very addicted to things um, and habitual we also have ancestral wounding. We have um, different traumas in our lines. And so unconsciously we have patterns. And so you're, the things that you might need to work with clearing the timber brown might be something emotional. It might be something physical. It could be something, you know, intellectual, a concept that you're holding. Uh, sometimes, you know, the practical energy, there's a lot about feng shui and, you know, if your area is blocked, then you're not going to flow because there's obstacles in your environment. So you want to have a free flow of energy. Timber brown people who, people who are really adept with this ray, they know how to eliminate things that are, are not serving them anymore and taking up space in their life and it stops new energy from coming in. You know, so sometimes we need to clutter clear. So the people who love clutter clearing are really ace at timber brown oftentimes, you know, their ability to discriminate. This is essential. This is not essential. Or this is actually destructive, even though I might be sort of addicted to it. I know it has to go. You know, we all know that in our lives. You know, we have things like sugar we shouldn't eat. And then we know, you know, we might be addicted to it or... There's certain habits we all have, you know, that are not life affirming and healthy and we know they need to go, but you could have difficulty with it. Well, timber brown is the color that you want to call in as the ally to support you to move through those changes. And, you know, the in the forest timber, you know, it just it means the trees coming down and beware. So with Timber Brown, this is an amazing ally who can help you just remove obstacles on your path, who can help you um, sort out what's going on inside and move through your own internal chaos, bringing great clarity and allowing space for you to deepen in your process. So Timber Brown is here to help us. There's a variety of ways, as I was saying, it might be something very practical you know, some sometimes like there's broken furniture in your house and you just keep it around because of an emotional attachment, but it's actually taking up the space so something new can't come in. So with Timber Brown, we get rid of the old and then a new energy can come in. You know, it's it's a lot of things are like that in our lives. Things just get worn down and we need to refresh the energy so in our lives, sometimes our thoughts are habitual. We need to refresh the energy. So I would invite you now to journey with me. You're going to journey to meet Timber Brown and you're going to ask, you know, Timber Brown, what in, how are you going to help me? What in my life needs clearing? What, how can you help me clear that? If you know there's something you want to clear and you're having trouble, ask Timber Brown for a healing. Ask Timber Brown to help you to clear it and to give you healing and a blessing. But you can also inquire. So while I'm going to rattle for you, I'd like you to just pose that question. What in my life needs the timber brown clearing right now? Please show me, help me understand. You know, when you understand and see, 
Sometimes we don't understand what it is that's actually hurting us or holding us back or something might be toxic in our lives, toxic people, toxic relationships. We might have, you know, um, toxic food habits. We might even literally be like having something in our physical environment that's toxic, you know, and you don't even realize what it is. So Timber Brown can bring greater clarity and awareness um, to your habitual patterns in life to help you understand what could be toxic and what might need clearing. So you're going to journey and you're going to ask Timber Brown, show me, you know, what's toxic, what needs to clear, and then help me, you know, show me the first step I can take to clearing that. It might be obvious to you, but it, you know, if you know there's something that needs to go and it doesn't feel easy to do, you know, say, it. how can I do this? Help me make it, make it easy for me. Please show me. So we're going to now journey. You're going to ask Timber Brown, please show me, you know, what it is that needs to shift, what needs to move on, what's outdated and old, what's worn out in my life and what needs to clear, be cleared so I can invite the new energy in and have a more fruitful, more productive, and more joyous life. So show me what needs to be cleared and help me to do the clearing. So we're going to journey now. Timber Brown. Timber!
thinking timber brown. I'm preparing to return. So come back and make a note for yourself about the timber brown. And while you make those notes, I'm going to talk a little bit more about timber brown. You know, sometimes when the trees are cut, they form this amazing, um, as they're decomposing, they form an amazing home for other life forms. Hundreds, microscopic bacteria and fungus and they really become the compost that feeds the forest and it, it's like recycling. It comes into something new. It takes a new form. And so something which is outdated in your life that's not right for you anymore, it's not that it's necessarily toxic and bad. Sort of look at the view that if it's time for something to move on, it means that if it's not serving you, perhaps it's going to serve others. So um, I would encourage you to recycle, to rehome or repurpose things as well. You know, um, actually, one of the people with us right now makes jewelry. Um, they do beautiful jewelry, and I'll put the link on after um, the call. And um, they repurpose and recycle a lot of things. So just because it's outlived its usefulness to you in one form, you know, it can take another form. So um, it then can serve again in a new way and be repurposed. So timber brown, it really helps you clear out the old energy. Some people, they have so much clutter around them and it's almost like they're emotionally afraid to come close. So they, they just jam up their space and there literally isn't even room for a friend to sit. And it's painful when you know people have this sort of situation happening. I have other friends who are expert at clutter clearing and constantly recycling and giving away things like this is done. It's time with me. It's time to move it on, you know, and um, and they enjoy that and they enjoy seeing other people get pleasure from something which has given them pleasure. I know other people who don't want to see certain objects anymore because of the association like you know with a family member or some sad situation that caused them a lot of grief and even though it's a perfectly fine and usable thing they might be like I just need it out of my space I don't want to see this anymore you know we all have all sorts of reasons why timber brown can be really helpful to us and when you tune in you know you'll feel what it is and sometimes it's an idea you know, an idea that's limiting you and that needs to be timber browned. It doesn't have to be physical things. So I hope your journey was fruitful and that you received good information. Um, it would be lovely for me to know that you're getting any benefit from this. Um, it's like if you could leave me a little note below that you've seen this and maybe even say I, I need to clutter clear something practical or I need to clutter, you know, do clearing on some emotions or some ideas or However it affected or impacted you, I would love to know. Um, you don't have to unveil what you want to timber brown in your life, but it could be an idea or something that's no longer serving you if you had an aha moment. Um, and also remembering that even if it's not of use to you, it doesn't mean that it's a bad thing. And um, really this image of the composting, the humus and the bottom of the forest, you know, the, the tree drops branches and limbs or it rots and it becomes something else. Mushrooms grow from that, you know, it's the cycle of life and death, rebirth. So timber brown is recognizing when something is dead, dead energy in your life and it needs to go so that you can rebirth that part of yourself. You can be born again in that area in your life. You can bring in the new energy to thrive. So if something isn't serving anymore, 
I wish the strength and power of Timber Brown to you to cut away and remove the excess of what no longer serves you so that you can bring in the new energy. Timber Brown blessings and um, leave me a note below. Timber Brown also, just so you know, is one of the ocean band colors. When we do the Athenium in the beginning of um, February, we're going to be, Timber Brown's going to be one of the allies that we're going to be working with and deepening our connection with. So um, if Timber Brown intrigues you, um, you can revisit with that in February. Okay, take care. Timber Brown blessings. Good luck with removing what no longer serves you. Um, bye for now.